In a doctor's exclusive, we're joined by Britt and her husband, Jeremy. Thank you for joining us. So first and foremost, I, I sincerely appreciate your bravery and your willingness to do this. Thank you, thank you. So where are you with your journey with um, the bulimia? As far as being bulimic, I, I made a vow to myself. I was like, I just, about two years ago after the show, um, I did a lot of soul searching and I was just like, you know what, no matter what, I'm never throwing up again. So I gained weight and it was yo-yoing and it was scary. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and you know, there's times where I've had to call Jeremy and be like, I want to throw up so bad, I'm so scared. Um, you know, cause there's so much pressure to be thin. And he's talked me through it and I've had to go through that, but I don't throw up anymore. However, the, the binge eating disorder is still something that I think about a lot every day, every day. Um, and that is something I don't think it's talked about because it's not, it doesn't fit in a category like anorexia or bulimia. And, um, but it's really an obsession with food and kind of a, a bizarre relationship with it and that still persists. So that's what I've had since childhood. And, and you bring up there. a really important point that even though you were able to put a stop yeah. to bulimia, right. that some of these addictive patterns still continue. And it yes. sounds like there were other addictive patterns in your life. Exactly. Uh, alcohol. Correct. Food. Correct. What are some other behaviors that you found were well, also part of the pattern? Well, I think they're all, yeah. So that, so I stopped being bulimic because that was just kind of the band-aid on the addiction, mm -hmm. right? That right. was just me mm -hmm. fixing it. That was my get out of jail free card was I could throw up. Um, but really what was underneath it was just this need to consume. And whether that's alcohol or food, it was essentially just trying to not feel pain, not trying to feel anxiety, um, not try to feel like I'm not enough. It's, right. it's just trying to, to pad some anxiety that I'm feeling and, and numb out. And it's really interesting because on the one hand, these consuming behaviors helped you to stop negative emotions from mm -hmm. being experienced. But the, for a moment. <laughs> for a moment. For one moment. Very yeah. temporarily. Mm -hmm. But the, it's a distraction. But Precisely. The, but the other side of it is that because you have a propensity to addictive behaviors, what we find is that in the brains of people mm -hmm. who have addictive patterns, there is a dopamine sort of runaway effect. So dopamine mm -hmm. is known as the mm -hmm. happy neurotransmitter. Yeah. It makes us feel good. Yes. But when you engage in addictive behaviors, what happens is that that dopamine gets spiked over and over again so yes. that it's harder to get pleasure from sort of normal mm -hmm. things that people find happiness with. So sure. it makes you go back to that over and over again. Mm -hmm. And we find a chicken and the egg syndrome too mm -hmm. because the dopamine receptors in people who have addictive issues tends also to be decreased. And so uh -huh. it's almost like you have to continue to push harder to get yeah. just that mild feeling of pleasure. And I don't know mm -hmm. if that sounds like it's familiar to your patterns. And uh, yeah, sort of like a it, chasing it, Definitely, of I mean, there definitely is a chase and there definitely, um, I would feel when I'm eating in this way. And I, and I can tell kind of when it crosses over. Cause I'll be having a normal meal and then I'll get full and something in me, yeah, it probably is dopamine. I feel good. But then I also feel like, well, this is good. All must be better. And something in my right. mind. And I don't know if everybody has that. Like Jeremy, I don't think has that very much. Like he can right. have a beer and he's done. And I'm like, right. that would be great. I don't, I don't get that. Mm -hmm. right. He can have yeah. half the bag of chips and he's like, I'm good. I'm like. Right. Well, Give me some of that. But anyways, um, so, so, so yes, yeah, something gets turned on in me and then this desire to consume it all is, it, it almost feels like I'm completely out of control. Right. And it's scary and I feel guilty while I'm doing it, but I need to. And, it, and it's very frantic. It feels like chaos. So yeah. Jeremy, when you've seen her in these moments, what has it been like for you to experience that and to watch her go through that? It's been a growing process of me actually becoming aware of it. When I first found out about it, I was relatively clueless. But in, in certain uh, meal times and stuff, I'll kind of notice I feel our connection wane a little bit, mm -hmm. and I'll just notice a little bit of kind of like I'm gone. the focus. Yeah, like the focus has just gone to, and I, and now it's been long enough that I I'm kind of aware of it, and we kind of work on on ways to tenderly and gently kind of good. encourage each other. Uh -oh. and, I'll, and sometimes I'll just kind of say, you know, are, are, you, are you still eating because you're hungry? Or are you eating because, you know, because the food is just there, which is a totally normal thing for anyone to do. I do that. If food's there, I'll just right. keep eating it. But for her, like you said, it triggers a different thing. Mm -hmm. and, and so I'll try to kind of be aware of that. But. And he's really good about it. And I always get angry for like a second, you know, because uh, my, my addiction, like I'm like this thing now, like I'm like, I want this. Right. And I do want to isolate, honestly, like the people that I love more than anything, once this thing is going, I want to isolate so I can eat in secret and have all I want, not be judged and not feel shame. And it does make, make me unable to be present. That's really good that you said that because that's what's so scary about it is I'm not present. All I want is this thing, whatever the substance may be.